Hello, my name is Paul Kanyuk, and I am here with a uh, Fender P bass installed with Psych-Fi pickups. That makes this a quadraphonic bass where each string has its own output. You may ask, why would anyone want to do this? And I'm hoping these videos will help explain a little bit about all the fun things you can do with one of these instruments that you couldn't do with a normal one. Um, just a little bit of background, this bass was... Um, uh, the uh, pickups were installed by my uh, uh, good friend and colleague, Cy DeLacy, um, and she does magic with hardware. I'm more of a software guy. I really don't know much about how this all works, so Cy made this happen, so prop to Cy for being a mad scientist. So a little bit about the setup. Uh, what you see behind you is uh, the software Audulus, which is a great digital signal processing program, really slick UI, and um, just I find sort of is my pedal board in software. And you'll see a couple meters here. As I hit each string, you'll see each waveform light up. That will indicate to you that, you know, each string has its own output. Low E, low A, um, middle D, high E. Hooray, it works. So uh, in a little bit, we'll do a proper sound demo, but that just shows you the hardware works. The way it's getting into my laptop is with a Scarlett 18i8 interface. Um, the base itself has a 19 pin output cable that goes into the Psych-Fi Nexus breakout box. On the back, uh, two stereo quarter inch outputs come out and get split into these four inputs on the front of the uh, Scarlet. So essentially four strings, four inputs. In this case, each has its own gain knob. That's fancy. You probably don't need that. You can do it in software. But anyway, um, this UI, this, sorry, this interface is great because it's got four outs on the back, another four inputs, and another four outs on the front. So there's with one of these instruments, you need a lot of I.O. Uh, so uh, it, it's worth investing in an interface with maybe more ins and outs than you think you might need. So uh, that's a little bit about the um, the hardware setup. Oh yeah, and just so you know, this is going again into Audulus. And then from Audulus, going out of the outs, and then into Logic, where I'm going to record. So uh, we'll do a sound check next. All right, let's do a sound check on this uh, bass. So I have this going. Um, Audulus is here just for uh, monitoring. The sound is coming from Logic, where each string is going into its own track that has a bias amp positive insane amp sim going on. And the reason I'm uh, choosing a fairly high gain sim is that I think it really shows off the different effect you get from having monophonic versus quadraphonic output from a bass like this. And note that um, this tone knob right here is uh, emitting a uh, MIDI signal from the breakout box on MIDI CC12 that is being used in Audulus to essentially either switch between one, uh, there's my cat making some sound, uh, switch between um, you know all four strings into one output versus one output per string. So to show you the difference, I'm first gonna show you the monophonic version and just play a, a third. one output, you know, um, the, uh, the D string, and actually pitch shift it down and run it through a bass amp sim so that you have now a bassist along with the sort of uh, more typically guitar signal. So I have that set up in Logic. I'm just going to go ahead and 
increase the, sorry, do C, CC14 to bring that track in. So now you should have a bass with it too. Pretty cool, right? So, um, yeah, let's, let me go ahead and continue that riff out uh, so you can just hear the effect and then we'll get a little nerdier after that. Show you the difference monophonic. All right, I could just keep playing like that, but you know, we've all heard random guitarists playing ad nauseum at Guitar Center, and we don't want to hear it so. Next video, I'll show you some more interesting effects, but that's just the very basics about how to, how a quadraphonic bass uh, works. So, thanks.